Hello everybody and welcome to US Computer Solutions for another how-to tutorial. My name is Joey. Today I'll be showing you how to properly install a heatsink on an M.2 SSD drive. So let's get started. Guys, so uh, what's in the box is we got a heatsink over here, two thermal pads, a screwdriver. I'm not going to be using this one, I'll be using mine, a better grip. And of course, two screws and a Velcro over here so we can hold the wire inside our case. And we only get the M2 SSD drive. And of course, to get this prepared, you got to know that we have to remove this slowly. And we can use just a little bit of heat to get that out. And from in front and back because that's where the pads are going to go inside the heatsink for this device. Now I chose this particular one over here because it comes with a fan and I saw a lot of good reviews. I'll keep a link in the description below if you guys are interested in buying. And we were talking about dropping of 10, 20 CEI. I don't know. I'm gonna try it and see. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up and First thing we're going to do is we are going to remove the screws from the harness down here. And installing it is pretty simple. So I'm going to fast forward this video. Alright, so now we are going to remove the thermal paste cover. And we are going to apply the first thermal piece cover on the heatsink over here. I'll try to put it in the middle as much as I can. I'll show you in a second. Just like this. And of course, you don't want to forget to remove the second cover of that heatsink. You keep that there, those plastic, that thing is going to be on fire. So let's slowly remove that plastic part. Try not to do it with dust around, you don't want anything coming on that heat sink. Uh, heat sink thermal paste. I'm going to apply just a little bit of heat on this so I can get this removed uh, efficiently. Now you don't want to apply too much heat on this device over here or you will ruin it. So it will need some heat to get that out. All right. You can try to see if it's loose enough and you can uh, try to remove it but it's going to be very very tight. So we're going to need definitely some heat and we don't want to ruin these little capacitors on this device and uh, I'm going to apply some heat and get it removed. Just make sure that the heat is not so much. Just a few passes. Turn off. And let's see if we can get that out. Just apply a little bit of pressure and very slowly it will come out. It's so sticky though, be careful. And now on the other side. Now the other side is a little bit more trickier. Now I'm just using this as a support for the SSD drive. Now if you try to just remove the pads over here or the stickers, it will, it will remove the pad that is below. So that's why I'm trying to keep the below pad and just removing the sticker from that pad. Because again, we don't want to ruin the device. You all have no idea how sticky this is. Especially it doesn't make it easy while you're wearing gloves. All right, so now it is, now we're going to apply this on the 
heat sink and uh, let me show you how it's done don't forget to remove the plastic you don't want to keep those plastic parts over there those plastic parts for that thermal I I've heard a lot of people forgetting them and uh, man their their computer is gonna go up to 90 degrees Celsius you don't want to you don't want that to happen here and the reason why I put it is just so I can align everything or try to align everything and it's much easier to start aligning with this plastic part on now again you don't want to forget it and I'm going to try to put it so we can cover everything here like so now you want to press on it slowly so if you look down the second one is has submerged the entire SSD drive and the one on top also has submerged all capacitors and memory capacitors on this device okay and now we'll remove the second plastic cover for that thermal paste it's still a type of thermal paste okay and you gotta flip it and this is the correct side that it's supposed to be up so everything is already aligned from the pre previous part of the video and I'm going to just snap this like that and then snap this back on correctly and then screw because it's actually supposed to go inside of our motherboard this way okay and now let's put the screws back on All right, so I know you guys don't see this, but this is where the uh, M2 connector uh, is. We have a Nukatoa fan here that is covering it. Now, in my case, I'm not going to uncover it. I'm gonna just slide it inside over here. I had to flip this. This was on the other side and I had to flip this. I had to change now the box where this computer was in. Uh, and over here, down below, this is where the connector for the device is. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this connected uh, in the connector for the fan to be having its power and let me get this connected all right so after installing the connector right now over here right i don't know if you guys can see but i'm trying to bring the computer up right now over here there are three holes and we are going to use this hole for the m2 so this spacer over here needs to be removed and we're going to install it right over here for us to apply the heat sink on this device okay so let me remove it. I'm gonna use a screwdriver to get this removed. And this is how the spacer looks like. Okay, right now we're gonna install it in the third hole over here. And I'm gonna screw it in. All right, it should look like this after installing it. All right, so now I'm going to install the heat sink and the M2. And as you see, it is well seated and all we have to do is install the screws for that heat sink. Let me show you what I have over here. It is pretty installed. And now all I have to do is just screw and uh, get this party started. All right guys, as you can see right now it is installed and the screws are correctly in and now we are going to power up the device and I'm going to show you how the fan looks like while it's turned on. All right guys, so after a few minutes holding the computer this way this thing started. So it seems like it does have a sensor inside to see that it is heating and I assume that the more it heats up the more it will spin and as you see right now it's spinning this way and uh, let's go check the temperatures on the computer all right guys so now i'm at the computer so what i did uh, for a good amount of time is that i had to clone my other hard drive which had windows on it and i completely cloned it and after that um, I ran the SSD drive. That didn't work. 
and what I had to do is I had to do it through imaging so I took an image of that hard drive and then I completely restored it to the SSD drive and now it is working wonderfully but if you guys want to know how cloning is done and whatnot uh, just leave a comment below and I will be more than happy to do a tutorial on that and the reason why the cloning did not work I had some bad sectors on my old hard drive and uh, a few problems that interrupted the cloning process anyway so I have the uh, SSD drive installed right now with that heatsink now I'm going to show you the temperature using Samsung Magician it's a software from Samsung and the temperature the temperature you're about to see right now is the temperature after running for 12 hours and working and all the stress and whatnot and I will show you now it is on 47 degrees Celsius and that is a very good temperature now I also ran a game for four hours I ran an online game a survival game actually and I ran it and this only went to 49 degrees <coughs> now I use my MSI Dragon Center over here to you know check the fan and see if it's working or not now I will show you the monitor system of the fan itself so I'm gonna go to user scenario and I'm gonna to go to customize over here and then we are going to go to sysfan and then we are gonna choose sysfan2 because this is where we plugged it in on our motherboard so sysfan1 is running and these are the temperatures that it's working on this is the second one I'm sorry the first one and this is the second one and that is the hard drive fan now it is idle it is set to zero the temperature is 47 so by default um, the system itself of the heatsink itself only starts when it goes above 50 but I can still manually turn it on using my system over here and I'm gonna put it on 75 and immediately this uh, will start the that little fan that you guys saw I don't want to ever keep it on I, I wanted it to, to work on its own because it has been working perfectly and the temperatures that I've been getting on idle is approximately between 45 and 47 I did try to keep this on for a few hours and it gave me 38 on idle I did not try it while playing I don't want to overstress that fan so I you know I just keep it on smart fan and for it to be running as uh, efficient and uh, automatic as possible so I'm gonna just click over here and after a while I'll show you you can even send it to 100 over here and that thing goes to over 10,000 rpm and you guys can see and it will really cool and uh, let me run it for a few minutes I will fast forward and we'll see what temperatures will be getting while it is on 100% just when I put this 100% for just the purpose of this video normally I put it 75 and say I don't want to just overstress the fan but for you guys I want to show you how this thing is going to start dropping slowly from 47 down now the temperature on the magic uh, magician over here the Samsung magician uh, registers after it actually goes down for a few moments and then it will register so it takes some time so let me show you it's about hovering about 11,440 to 11,600 that's why I don't think it's 100 compatible with Dragon Center but let's see okay I'm gonna fast forward this video for uh, well without even fast forward it's already going to 46 and it will actually go a little bit more down to 42 whatever just will take some time I'm gonna just uh, keep this uh, let's say a few minutes and uh, I'll uh, be right back
Alright guys, so just after a few minutes, I have been refreshing the screen over here and as you see it dropped from 47 to 44 Celsius and that's just a few minutes that have passed by. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just conti uh, continue for this device to be set on automatic and I'll, all I have to do is set it on smart fan. Of course you're going to see a dramatic drop and I'm going to exit the program. And I'm gonna exit out from uh, below and uh, there you have it folks I will leave a, a link in the description below for this particular heatsink and other heatsink that I recommend for SSD drive and please if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel your support is so appreciated well hope to see